My name is Darren Gertis, and if you can give me two minutes, I can help you become a better instructor. In today's Tech Minute, we're going to talk about how to course copy an existing course from a previous semester in Blackboard. So we're going to log in and we're going to look at our courses. Now here, I'll open up, these are spring courses for the next semester. Uh, and I'm going to course copy Busy 619, Power and Influence. It's empty right now. So I'm going to look at a previous semester and I'm going to course copy that course into my new course. You will want to open it and you'll see that it'll have a standard format. So here we have, for example, homepage information, content, discussions, groups, tools, help. What I tend to do is if I have a class that I've already used before, um, I'll delete each of these. So I'll delete this and I'll delete the next and through the magic of time lapse, you'll see them all gone in just a moment. So I'm going to search for Busy 619, and here's the class that I'm in. And here, let's scroll down, is the class that I'm going to use. So this is my former class, the old class that I want to course copy. Okay, so I'm just going to check a few things, make sure that things are where they're supposed to be, course materials, weekly course content. Okay, so everything looks like it's checking out. So now I'm going to go to Packages and Utilities and Course Copy. So when I'm in course copy, I'm going to look at for a destination course and I'm going to browse and try to find Busy 619. Okay, and I'm going to find the most recent one. That's the one that's about to start. And so here we are for two, uh, 2019 spring and I'm going to click, click submit. Okay, now I'm going to keep content areas. I want to keep all of that. I'm going to keep adaptive release. I'm not going to keep announcements. Now, this is up to you whether you want to keep announcements or not, but I want to reset up the announcements. I don't want them to be there right now, so I'm going to skip that. Blogs, calendar, contact. Uh, calendar is important if you want to just update the dates very quickly. I'll show you how to do that in a later uh, tech moment. Uh, content alignments, discussion boards, including starter posts, sure. Glossary, grade center, group settings. Now, it's important to keep all of these things. Now, when we get to settings, availability, no, I don't want to do that. Banner image, sure, if you have one. Course guest access, that doesn't really matter. Language, pack navigation. Tasks, uh, tasks, tests, and wikis are very important, especially the tests, um, because that way you will carry over tests from one semester to another. I usually keep the course file attachments uh, in this one, copy links and copies of the content, and I do not I repeat, not include enrollments in, copy, uh, in the copy, because if I do, then I'll have all the students from a previous class in this one, and I do not want to do that. Okay, and then I just click Submit. Now, after I click Submit, I'll go over to my institution again, and I'll go right into Busy uh, 619 is the class that I was copying it to, and there was nothing there. It's starting to fill up. Course materials and course content are there. Let me show you again. It's building very slowly. And in a few minutes, it'll have everything there. Okay, and so everything is now completed and I'll get an email. Get an email that'll look like this. That will say, the following course copy has been completed. Here's the source and here's the destination. And it's all right to proceed from there. So so now the course is there, but it is unavailable to students until just before school starts. So we're ready to go. I just need to update things like dates or if I want to alter assignments, but everything's ready for that course for next semester. So that's all for now. If you're a CSU faculty member and you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm here to serve you.